Hi everyone, Emma here. I am getting ready to um, make a bracelet with this and I'll just show you. I did a practice run with a different color bead and this is what we're going to make today. So this is a beautiful peyote stitch with these gorgeous metallic super duos and just a FYI for this design I, I couldn't figure out how to get the lines even on each side. So I'm new to this. So I would definitely recommend you check out somebody else's videos <laughs> if you want to follow. Um, I will show you how to do it. That's no problem. But there's probably an easier way to do it and to get it set up properly. You guys probably know how to do it as well. So this is what we're going to make. So let's take a look. I've got my fire line. And my so here's the bead that I picked from that unboxing so if you guessed this color and bead correctly this bracelet is for you so if there's more than one person that guessed that I picked the hot pink then um, we'll do a draw for it so I've got my stop bead on and I put six on there and that's what happens when you put them on they automatically kind of find their spot so let me put this down here so you can get those in like that okay so I can show you what I'm doing at the beginning it's a little confusing at the beginning till everything finds its spot so I'm coming out of this hole here I'm gonna go into the next hole so I'm just gonna Put my finger there to so they don't move around too much. Okay. I'll just hang on to that one and pull it. There. And then flip this guy back to its correct position there like that now we're going to pick up a bead and go through the next one and it'll pop right in there like that pick up another one this first part is just a bit kind of wonky because you don't have anything to hang on to and they want to keep moving around, so you're going to go through the next one. Pop that guy in. And I like to try and get it nice and tight. Then grab the next one. And just string it all the way in, because this one doesn't have any place. Like, it's kind of loose. But it's going to complete this line. So now we're coming out of this hole. We're going to go into the next hole. And we're going to repeat basically the same thing we did on the previous one. So let's hang on to that. Okay. Grab another super duo. And go through the next hole here. So you can go back and tighten things up to get it nice and snug there. Grab another, just like that. I'm going to bring it down Better check the hole here. No, that one's fine. And go through the next one up. Like that. And I think I probably have enough to hang on to now. 
so that you can see it. Hey, that makes it easier doing it like this. Then you pick up the next one. This one's a top one, so it's going to just be threaded on like this. You're going to coming out of that hole, you're going to go into the next hole of that same one. So at this point, you can add uh, 15 O seed beads, three of them here, and it creates a nice little pico. Or you could put two 11 O's. I've done that on a different bracelet for another video, and it actually looks really nice. But for this one, you saw the green. I liked the way it looked just plain, so I left it. But definitely feel free to embellish it. So we're going to go through that one. Like that. Pick up a bead. Add it. Go through the next one down. Like that. So now we're going to string the last one on this bottom section. Okay. And so our thread's coming out of here. We're going to go in. Go into the other hole. I'm just going to kind of see if I can grab that bead. So it doesn't move. I'm going to pull that other thread there. Just like that. And just continue. That's how easy this is. And then in the next video, I'll, uh, I'm close to the end. I have my length. So you just continue like this to give you the length of the bracelet that you want. And I'll come in and I'll show you how to finish it off and how to create the kind of triangular peak on either side. So we'll do the one side with the clasp and then we'll come to this side and add the beads here. So I'll just do one more time now that we have a little more to hang on to. And it gets a lot easier. You start to find where you feel comfortable hanging on to things and it's, uh, it's really satisfying. I love peyote stitch. Look at that. That's awesome. Especially with these beads because they're so big. We're so used to using like 11 O C seed beads. You start using a bead like this that's big. And you can finish a bracelet in an hour. It's crazy. Crazy, I say. All of these. So I'll just say a little bit about the beads because as you can see I don't have a whole lot here um, because like I said the other part of the video was done <clears throat> it was done in the correct order but the, the previous start videos were not very well they had a lot of issues so I got rid of them. Part of it was my camera was shooting it uh, in like a profile view and if you upload it with the profile view what you'll see it'll look like a telephone video and there's like black bars on the side and I'm like what the heck happened to my camera <laughs> so I had to reshoot it but to talk about these beads so I find these hot pink ones very scratchy feeling kind of like not like really bad but different than these lovely these ones are so smooth and you can see the coating on these ones are quite thick so when you look at the holes they're nice the coating goes right into the holes and everything um, but I found the holes on these big like you can see how big those holes are so I didn't have any problems and they're super smooth I find these ones really rough and I had a bunch of issues with the holes 
in a ton of issues with the consistency of the color. So they were really, um, in, on one sense, I'm kind of glad that I only ordered two tubes. Now, I didn't pay that much, but you can see there's, there's a blemish here of, like, you can see the silver underneath the pink. And then there's another big blemish here of silver, which you can kind of see. I don't know if you guys can see that, but, so there was a lot of, like, really stuff like that, and then, like, one bead's dark, and then, like, that's dark, but then this one's light, and then there was, like, some lines of silver where it looked like the coating, the pink coating wasn't done as well, and so, um, yeah, sadly, I wouldn't recommend these, but I have to... I have to say though, in saying that, that I suspect this is a quality control issue. So I think if you ordered a different batch, it would, you might not have that problem because I can't understand why these are basically the same as these guys. And I have some blues and I have some green, dark greens. I have some other colors that are all like this. They're beautiful. So you might catch a batch that's good. I feel like this was just a really poor, poor batch. So, so we will be back in the next video with the almost completed bracelet. Hang in there and have fun beading. See you in the next video. Bye.